You cannot mess with Red DK, man, I'm telling you. This is the healer killing machines. So right off the back, we stun, pop crusade. Gonna drink it that wake of ashes. Get another stun, but there ain't gonna be no problem. I'm just gonna cleave everybody around here. This paladin panicked, he bubbled. Then I immediately switch on to the druid. He gets stunned by our shaman. Really good job by our shaman over there. The paladin is getting the bubble off. He got sacrificed on the feral. And now he's trying to fuck the wall or something. I don't know. But hey, my Hodge is ready now. He's gonna escape one more time. Got the hand of freedom on. But just as he thought he's gonna be able to get past us, stun comes over. Wake of Ashes and see you, baby. Okay, now this demon hunter is doing a little bit of problem, so I am I'm trying to go back to my shaman. I'm gonna pre-sanctuary him just because I know Chaos Nova is gonna come and look at that. I think he got I don't know 0 0.2 seconds for that stun. It was beautiful. It was no risk, but still worth practicing all of these even in cap days. Okay, so awesome game, Red Dicky baby. Right on, right on. So let's see what we got here. The same team once again. Go on the Paladin, stun, put Crusade on, Wake of Ashes, Templar Verdicts, you know. Blade of Justice and again we got the bubble, which is fine. At this point I'm moving to the Demon Hunter for some reason, that's because the Feral Druid is on our Shaman, but you know, if you get in trouble I know I can bop my Shaman right about now and the bubble just spread off for the Paladin, so back to his ass again. I pop my defenses just to maybe blow that bubble in the face of the Paladin. Hey, but guess what? I get an interrupt here and that's it. Once again, a one game. Red DK man, unstoppable. Now we have this priest over here and I love it. Now we're gonna get the stun. I get stunned, put Wake of Ashes on. This is beautiful for cleaving. Look, look at this, look at how whole they're stacked up over here. Got stunned once again. The priest got thorns from the feral. I interrupted the feral for that heal. And at this point, it's GG. Sorry, man. I love it when you guys are clumped up because I can cleave for days. Oh man, beautiful. And the feral died in his stealth. <laughs> This was one of the tricky one because there was two shamans with two counter strike totems but hey man red dk don't give a fuck we just parrying and carrying on over there man everything you know loading up on that presto shaman i mean we're trying to load up as much as we can but they can reverse this pressure easily because enhancement shaman damage and burst and warlock i mean look at look at my hp man i get my bubble proc and i can see now that my shaman is getting hexed i cannot do anything about it the enemy shaman is just framing like a motherfucker but you know he's gonna use his spirit link over here our shaman pops in he uses his spirit link and the enemy shaman pops grounding so i cannot stun him right now but look at what he does he jumps out of the grounding uh, range i get the stun and this is it baby with this six second stun there's no chance of you living so gg so cap days are always fun we get to do a lot of awesome games like these hope you guys enjoyed it as well and found something useful out of the clips Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one. Peace!